Before I get too far into this video, uh, I have to put this in here real, right now. Uh, there's a couple of shouts. We did get a new subscriber. Welcome. Uh, let me pull this up really fast. Deer Run Killer. Uh, to the channel, he's a new subscriber. And also, what the... D Wh Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, mate. What was with that comment of yours? Beyond that, there's also a shout here from my manager at my regular job. With whom I lost a bet today. Which is why you're getting the video on Friday instead of Saturday like I originally planned. This is what I get for betting on times against my manager. But, enough of that. On to the video! Yep, that's a thing. Alright, so, uh, vlog week two of World of Warcraft. Not a ton to cover here, as I don't have a lot of new stuff I've explored. Uh, I haven't touched a mage, I haven't touched a lot of the other classes still. I have, however, had a blast leveling my uh, paladin. I believe the um, demoralized buff got put in, excuse me, debuff got put in on normal instances. Because after having a miserable first run tanking as uh, my paladin, as you see on screen... It has been nothing but smooth sailing after that. So either I was under level, under geared, or I was simply not. Um, the buff had not been put into place, so we were taking more damage than we should have. I also think part of it was the fact we had a disc priest, which means there wasn't a lot of healing between waves. And I think a lot of people don't realize that <laughs> the disc lost a lot, lost a lot of its out of combat healing. So that's that. Um. I finally managed to raid. We cleared uh, about half the Hellfire Citadel and Heroic, which, considering we had issues with Fell Reaver the first time, the fact we managed to clear it pretty soundly wasn't bad, though. We have learned that Wednesday is not a good raid night. Other than that, what have we done? Um, Gotta screw around a bit of my Enhancement Shaman. It's a little awkward having gone from a mana based class to one that is a build and spend. I'm not quite used to it yet, so she's a little funky. However, she is the first I've ever PvP'd on since that. Though I need to do more of it so I can acquire a few more weapons and other skins. Uh, mostly, uh... Oh, what's the term thing of here? Uh, sets. Armor sets. Mostly armor. Uh, Aramar needs a few more pieces to finish his set. Though he looks pretty solid right now. And uh, Daxart, the Paladin is actually looking really really nice overall so yeah huh anything else i want to cover here um i can't wait at this point we're waiting for the lead the uh, demon invasion my best guess is we're probably going to see it next week because that gives us about two weeks or a week or two to get either the Broken Shore storyline or start the invasion and then eventually because they say no later than the 17th they say the second or third week we'll see Demon Hunters so in theory we'll see invasion next week and then have the Demon Hunters drop the week after that the uh, week of the 9th uh, Tuesday that is and that gives us three weeks to get um until Legion drops proper. And then all bets are off at that point. Uh, what goes on. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Not, not lie. Um, found out a few more PvP things. One of the other guys I follow on YouTube. I will try to get a link in the description for you. Did a really fun little video on uh, some new world objectives. That's kind of cool. I, I started in the Burning Crusade. I will fully admit I'm a BC baby. And with the, that we did a lot of... There were a lot of PvP zones. Um, every major leveling zone um, had at least one player versus player objective. I want to or close to it. It was Hellfire, uh, Hellfire Peninsula had its three camps. Zanger Marsh had two. Uh, Terracor, no, the city was Shatrath in it, had one. Uh, there was Hala in the Grand. I think Blades Edge and Nether Zone were the only two that didn't have anything. 
yeah, it was, most of them had these big PvP objectives, which was cool, pretty cool. Then we had Winter Grasp come, um, come Wrath of Lich King. That was kind of fun. I like the vehicles. It's kind of fun to just jump in something that's like, I'm going to drive over somebody's butt. Uh, so interesting to see how that goes. Hopefully we'll see some incentive for uh, defenders to come in, because right now apparently there is none, but... I could see that being as simple as a, an honorable defender buff of some description, or one that allows you to, uh, like, a timer-based buff. If you hold an area long enough with active player combat in the area, you get a certain amount of experience. Again, this would be something simple that just... Give us a defensive reward, and just watch it turn into a massive fight. Although apparently the Dalaran uh, under sewers is going to be a, a free for all zone, uh, that's going to be a zone. I'm going to sit back with a beer in one hand and a bowl of pretzels and go let the fireworks begin. But that's kind of that'll be interesting to see. I can't wait to see new Dalaran and all that. In the meantime, I am working on a couple new projects for you guys. There will be an announcement, a little announcement after this. So please stay tuned. But in the meantime, folks, my name's Techman. I wish you all good luck. Good luck, good hunting, and safe travels. Well, I had to think about that one for a second there. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one, folks. Hello, my banditos. Yes, I'm going to call my fan banditos. Like, why not? I'm Tech Bandit and the banditos. They'd be so much better if I actually had castanets. Anyway. Hi, right, folks. I'm trying to get a lot of content out for you guys, and I love doing this. But I'm going to need a little help here. In the coming weeks, I'm going to get an email and a Twitter and a few other odds and ends up. And I'm going to see if I can't give you guys an option to help me make content. I'm looking for your Heroes of the Storm recording. Got an epic game? A nail by right to the end? Please, send it to me. I want to do a shoutcast for you. I want to practice this, and I figure what better way than getting feedback from somebody who isn't myself. Let's face it, I know how my games end. That said, please keep all swearing the games to a minimum. If you have a game where somebody's cursing their mouse off, please, they will not be shown. I will be reviewing all of them first, just for safety reasons. Obviously, again, aforementioned swearing and a few other odds and ends. Other than that, I look forward to seeing your games. Uh, please remember, again, I will have either in the description, once I get it at the point time of recording, I do not have it ready, an email address for you guys to ship this to. See if you guys can help me out. In the meantime, folks, my banditos, I wish you all good night. That was not the right button.